Hello guys and welcome back to the vlog. We have a long weekend this week and it is a beautiful day out in Orlando so I am refusing to stay inside so we're not gonna do that. There are a couple spots around Orlando that I've had my eye on for a while that today just seems like the day to go and visit them. There's this super cute store called Gasp that is like this all pink store and it's literally like Every time I see pictures or videos of it, it's like my dream. So we're gonna go there first, or well, maybe not first, but we're gonna go there. There's this sensory bookstore experience thing um, that we're also gonna go to because I have not bought a physical book since I got my Kindle like two months ago. And my bookshelf just, it needs more friends. So we're gonna go and buy some books and just check out like a small bookstore. And yeah, probably gonna go grab lunch. Just just be outside basically. We're, we're not staying in the house cooped up all weekend long at least. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do and I, I figured I'd take you guys with me, but I'm excited. Should, should be a good day, should be a good weekend. Hopefully the weather is nice to us and it stays this pretty outside. I'm like looking out the window and it's like so perfect outside. So hopefully it stays that way and we can enjoy our day just bopping around Orlando. Here's my outfit of the day. Basically everything is from Amazon. Top, pants, shoes are all from Amazon. The tote bag is from Etsy. And then I just have some earrings from Linear. Jewelry is Kendra Scott, except for the very bright bracelet that I got on my trip to Colombia, and then I just have my aura ring on, and this is it. So just like a little casual, comfy, book shopping outfit. Got the tote bag to fit all the books in. <laughs> I think I'm only gonna, I'm gonna try to limit myself. I'm gonna buy one, maybe two books. I can't go too crazy, but yeah, that's it for today. That was such a cute bookstore. It's really small in there, so they don't have a lot of options, but it was still really, really cute, and I liked the experience of it. So I ended up doing the tote bag, and it was $39 for um, a book and three things, and it didn't matter what book you got. There were some hardcover books in there too, but I ended up getting a novel love story. The girl inside the store said that she really loved this book and really loved this author. She said it was like a fun, quirky read and I've been wanting to read The Seven Year Slip. I think that's what it's called by this author. So I figured this was a good intro book to all of her novels. So I got this and then the whole point of it is that you're supposed to build like a sensory experience in there with the three items that you pick. And I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really paying attention to like the book when I was picking it. I was just picking things that looked and smelled good to me. So I ended up getting a little candle with it and this one is an oak moss and white amber candle and it smells so good. So I'm, whenever I read this, I'm gonna put this on my candle warmer and it'll be perfect. And then I just got a little collagen face mask, but they also had like rose toners and little eye patches. Like they had so much in there for you to pick from, but did the little collagen face mask. And then I thought 
to round it out, we would do a drink. So I ended up just getting some tea with it. I got a butterfly pea and mint tea. And I've never tried any kind of teas like this one. So I'm excited to try it. And yeah, we're just going to have like a fun little reading night. I don't think I'm going to read this book just yet though. Because I am in the middle of a book and a series. But once I take a break, I think this will probably be my next read. I think now we're going to take a little bit of a break from the shopping around not that we've done much shopping besides these books but i think we're just gonna go to a coffee shop get ourselves a little drinky drink get a matcha get some coffee and then we're gonna keep going in our orlando store tour for the day We took our matchas to go, Nathan got a coffee, and now we're just gonna head right across the street because there's a place called the Salty Donut that I have been wanting to go to for quite some time, but have just never made my way over there. And I know myself, and if I don't go right now, it just, it was never gonna happen. So we're just crossing right over, gonna grab a donut, and then I think we're gonna go to Gasp after. guava and cheese one because that just sounded way too interesting for me not to try it. Look at her. She's so cute. Mm -hmm, so good. It tastes like the little um, like guava and cheese pastries at Publix but better. <laughs> it's so good. Are you sure you don't want to bite? No, you should try it. You're missing out, buddy. Go for it. I think I would have It's good, right? I'm mad at myself for not coming here sooner. Now I need to go try all of their other donuts. <laughs> This whole winter park area, it is so cute down here. Look how cute this little store is, it's all pink. I've been wanting to come here for so long. olive oil spot look how cool they have so many tasters in here more on the walls So right next to the olive oil tasting, there's this cute little restaurant called Garpin Fuss. So I think we're just gonna grab some lunch here while we're here. Okay, just kidding. They're only doing cocktails right now. They don't open for dinner, I guess, until four. Um, so we must've just missed their lunch time. So we're gonna find somewhere else to go.
should have known myself better and known that if I walked into a bookstore, I would come out with books. So I got two things. But both of them are books that I needed, so I don't feel as bad about it, even though they may or may not be on Kindle Unlimited. I don't know. Um, but the first one that I got was Daydream, which is the third book of the Icebreaker series. I've read the first two books. I wasn't sure if I was going to read the third one, but she just looks too cute. And it is signed by the author. Like, so I just, I couldn't leave her behind, you know? And like, look how cute she'll look on my bookshelf. So that's, that's first book number one. And then the second book I got is the latest book in the, I don't know if this is from Blood and Ash or Flesh and Fire, I think. I think this is the Flesh and Fire. Um, I read both of the series at the same time. And if you want to read that series, you have to read both of them together. So that's, that's your tip of the day. But got the latest one. I needed her too to finish out all of my books and I have like a space on my bookshelf for this series and she again is going to look so pretty on the bookshelf so I got those two books and I did stop myself there was a lot more books in there that I wanted but for other things that I want to read that I know are on Kindle Unlimited I've told myself I have to read it first on Kindle like not spend the extra money and then I'm only going to be buying the books that I like absolutely want so these I already have the rest of the series so I, I can't just have half a series on my bookshelf but everything else I left behind and I will read it on my Kindle first and only buy trophies if they're five star reads. We were also trying to find a place to eat while we were down there because there are a ton of like little restaurants and stuff um, but it seems like a lot of them were like past their lunch time but before dinner time so we couldn't eat and we just were like walking around couldn't find anything that we really wanted and it was getting hot and I, can't, I don't do well in the heat so we came back to the car we're gonna find another place to go to um, and yeah and then that's probably gonna be our last stop of the day before we go home We stopped at a little Cuban spot and got these little guayaba nectar drinks. I haven't seen these in so long, so I'm excited to, to try them out again. Got our food. I did the Havana pork bowl, which looks delicious. It has so much on it. It looks great. And then Nathan got the I think a tuna sandwich? Is that what it is? Ew. Tuna sandwich. I don't know if I would have chosen that, but all the power to him. Gotta put all my books away into the shelves. And one of them, the one that I bought at the last store, goes technically on the shelf. But I've been putting all my TBRs on the bottom from A Thousand Boy Kisses on I haven't read and I'm afraid that if I put it on the shelf up here that I am going to forget that I haven't read it yet so I think for now we're going to put her on the bottom and then once she's read she gets to go back up. also debating if I should change out this candle, my candle warmer, out now or if I should wait until I start reading the book that I bought with the candle. Let me know. I have been reading the Zodiac Academy books for quite some time now. I read um, the Ruthless Boys of the Zodiac series, which is like the prequel series. Now I'm on book seven of this one. And I've also been reading the novellas. There's a person on TikTok who has like the best reading order for these books so if you've been wanting to get into them I would highly look it up her video is like the first one that comes up when you look up reading order but when I tell you that these books give all of the Harry Potter vibes but like adult <laughs> um, it's crazy so if you were obsessed with Harry Potter as a kid and have been looking to get into a series and have some time to give to it highly highly recommend the Zodiac Academy they have them all on Kindle Unlimited so if you have a Kindle you don't have to pay for all the individual books because there's like, I want to say there's like 20 of them in total for the entire world because there's a prequel series, the main series, and then there's a, another series that happens like after the series is over. So it's like a huge world 
that you can get into. I will say though, they are not the best written books. Um, it's definitely not like a work of literature, but they are entertaining. And if you are willing to let yourself get suckered into a new world and have been on a reading slump and have the time, definitely go read it. I have taken some breaks though from reading it because I've been on these books since like July. So it's been, what is that? Like three months, two months, two months. So it's a lot. So I have taken some breaks, but it's such a good series. And it just, like I said, it's not well written, but she's entertaining. It's almost like watching your favorite reality TV show, but it's so good. And there's so many elements that like reminds me of Harry Potter. So if you were a big Harry Potter fan, I feel like you guys would like this. And the, the series just needs more hype. I've only seen a couple of people post about it. I've been seeing it more and more lately, but the series needs more hype on Book Talk because generally it is so entertaining. It is getting super late though. It's already 11, 11 p.m., so make a wish. Um, but I'm gonna get in one or two more chapters of this book and then go to bed. But I think I'm gonna make this one a weekend vlog. So I will see you guys in the morning. Hello guys, I have just been spending the morning editing my vlog for tomorrow. I think, fingers crossed maybe, I'm gonna start trying to post two videos a week. Um, I haven't been doing that and I've barely been posting one long form video a week on YouTube, mainly because I've been scared. Um, I started doing these YouTube videos Honestly, because I had a camera, I wanted a new hobby, I always loved filming content and I love editing. That's the reason and I just loved it. So I was like, why not start a YouTube channel? And I've been too afraid to fully commit to it because something that tends to happen with me is that I'll like fully commit into making content like on TikTok, on Instagram, and I'll be posting really consistently, everything will be going really well, and then it just starts to feel a lot like work. And while I like do want to grow these channels, I yeah. want to still have fun doing them and I want to like yeah. love the content that I'm putting out and love like filming and editing and like I never want to lose like the happiness that it gives me. So with YouTube, because they are much longer videos, it takes a lot more time to film, to edit, to upload, like do all of it. I've been afraid of really committing to it. But I think I'm going to start because this past like week, two weeks, I have been really on like my content grind. I've been loving it so much. So I'm gonna take the motivation that I have now and attempt to start posting twice a week. Let's, let's see how long that lasts. But that's what I've been doing this morning. Nathan right now is out at the gym. And then I think when he comes back, we're gonna head out to a market that he saw a poster for yesterday while we were in one of the bookstores. Um, so we're gonna go check that out, then grab some lunch, and I don't know, who knows what else we'll do. But for now, I'm gonna keep editing my video. I have like literally five minutes of it edited um, because I keep going back and forth and like deleting stuff and adding it back in. I'm. It's gonna be a short one, I think, so I just don't know like what I really wanna put in it and what I don't, um, or like what what style of editing I wanna do, so <laughs> I only have like the first five minutes edited, so it's gonna be a while before this one's done, but goal is to have it out by tomorrow morning. I think today is gonna to be more of a chill day than it was yesterday. I don't think we're gonna do nearly as much as we did. And here's the outfit for today. My dress is from Girlfriend Collective. Just got the hokas on and then the same tote bag and jewelry as I did yesterday. And then we're just doing a no makeup look today, mainly because I was too lazy to do it. <laughs> I will say this market we're going to seems a little interesting. I was looking at their Instagram earlier and I was 
a bit confused. Um, but Nathan really wants to go to it, so we're gonna go there. And then I think after the plan is to go get some barbecue food because it's Labor Day weekend and that just feels like the American thing to do. It, it just feels right. Um, so I think that's what we're gonna do after. And then I don't know what we'll do after that. Like I said, today's gonna be a little bit more chill than yesterday. We don't really have many plans. Um, so we're just kind of going with the flow today and seeing where the day takes us. Guys, we just came outside and it's literally raining. So I hope this market is not outside. I hope it's like an indoor market situation because if not, we're not, we're not stopping. We're gonna go somewhere else. The rain is coming down. So we decided to skip the market for now. They are open until six. So who knows if after we eat lunch, if they're still open and the rain has gone away, we might circle back around, but it's, it was a fully outdoor market. So I wasn't about to be out here in the rain. Guys, look at how many barbecue sauces they have to choose from. This is like my favorite thing ever. Made myself a little Arnold Palmer with their sweet tea and lemonade. I did mostly sweet tea though, so should still be pretty good. And I think Nathan just got all sweet tea. So I did the sampler and I got their 18 hour brisket and their hand pork with mac and cheese and cornbread. And I'm about to go up and like slather this in barbecue sauce because it's not real barbecue, it's not completely solid, but it's such a good portion size because sometimes when I do barbecue places, they just put too much meat, which like usually it's not something you complain about, but I just can never eat it on my own. And then Nathan just did their brisket sandwich, which also looks amazing. She has been smothered. I did their sweet barbecue sauce on the pulled pork, and then the original on the brisket. Trying the sweet tea first, or Arnold Palmer concoction. Pretty good. You can tell they have good sweet tea. Now the real part. This brisket, like, it's so tender, it's just falling right off. Mm. I might like the original barbecue sauce more. The rain has stopped for now, so I think we're gonna go and circle back around to see if it's still raining where that market is at. Um, and if it's not, we're gonna go check it out. But the food was actually really, really good. It, I think this is a new place that opened up in Orlando. I saw it on TikTok, so that's why we came here. Um, it was really good. The only thing is that there's a chocolate cake in there that looked amazing. And I am a huge chocolate cake fan. So I had been thinking about it the entire time we were eating. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll go and get one to go when we leave. But I'm so full right now that I couldn't think about getting it. And there was also like a little bit of a line when we left. Um, but I have a feeling there's a possibility that I'm going to regret that decision later tonight. So we shall see, but maybe we'll have to come back one day to try out that chocolate cake because it looked amazing. So much for there being no rain. We're just gonna go home, I think. So we're driving home right now and the rain, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like thundering and raining like crazy. And Nathan and I may have messed up <laughs> because probably like two years ago, um, we got one of those like Amazon Alexas in our bedroom and pretty much every single night we turn on um, There's a sleep sound thunderstorm sounds thing that you can use So we turn that on and it like makes us fall asleep But, but now whenever it's raining outside like on a normal day both of us instantly want to fall asleep So we're like driving home and we're like we could use a nap right now um, So we may go home and just knock out for the rest of the day or at least for a couple hours because the real thing is a lot stronger than the Alexa. <laughs> 